today would be a little bit different day walking out to feed the animals because there's been a change on the homestead and I'm going to do this video to try to explain uh, why I had to make that change um, I made the decision to sell off most of my goat herd and I did that because um, it was just getting to be too hard for me to manage and uh, unlike chickens and rabbits goats require a whole lot of time it takes time to uh, take care of their hooves it takes time to take care of their yearly medications and shots it takes time that you have to spend with them it takes time to milk the does when they're in milk and there were uh, four does who had uh, given birth in March and here in another week or two they would you know need to be milked um, if you don't milk them they could get mastitis or something in their udders there's just a lot of reasons why um, I had to make that choice it was um, you know I didn't have any problems feeding and watering them so health wise they were still in good shape but as more and more things get added to my plate and it's harder for me to keep up it was the best decision to decide to get rid of them um, and I needed to do that in a way that was going to be the easiest no stress way for me um, and a lot of people aren't going to understand this but I uh, through a mutual friend I found somebody that would take take them at what I felt was a fair offer and and they were sold and um, there's probably going to be some people that are going to say especially right now a uh, a select s2 a goat is bringing 482 480 dollars for 52 pounds and I know three of the bucklings probably could have easily brought that 430 to 480 dollars that's at uh, Bowling Green Paris or the uh, rich Richmond stockyards right now that was the latest prices from just the last two weeks um so but i mean for me to take goats to a stockyard requires a lot of planning on my side and time and i just that would just be adding more to my plate so i did it the easiest way possible i sold them to one individual who brought a trailer here and basically four or five of us got him rounded up and got him loaded up and he paid me and off he went and he took the goats to his farm where he was already raises goats i think uh now he told me he's got 25 goats counting the ones that the eight he got off of me so he really got his hands full because you know <laughs> Him and his wife and his kids, I'm sure they they enjoy taking care of goats. And but it was the least stressful way for me. I mean, it's. I'm gonna show you something. Um, I recorded, but hadn't up, uploaded it yet. I recorded when I cleaned out the goat barn, and I'll go ahead and show you. Um, 
probably a ton or better of straw and goat poop and stuff that I got out of the goat barn. But that's a job that normally takes me about four to six hours. And I think it took me like three days. Three full days. And that wasn't like just because I was being lazy. Or it wasn't because... It didn't take me that long because I wasn't out here doing the work. It took me that long because it literally requires a lot of muscle. And I'm just so weak right now. So, it used to be that I could catch a goat and give it its form of medicine or get it up on the stanchion to de it or give it its shots and that's just, I, I couldn't do it anymore. And before the goat's health went downhill, I just wanted to make sure that, that they were going to be taken care of and that's why it was done so i kept two goats and i'll show you those i kept the buck and the smallest doling probably can't even see the doling how you doing buddy how you doing buddy come on come on Anyways, <laughs> I kept I kept the uh, buck in one doling, and that's basically going to buy me some time. Uh, you guys got food and water? Yep. That's basically going to buy me some time because she, the doling, is going to be too small to breed right now, and. Uh, you know, she'll be, she'll be too young to breed in the fall, but she'll be body size wise. She might be okay to breed in the fall. And, uh, I hope to get him the buck and apron by then that keeps him from breeding her. Uh, but even if she get, got bred in the fall, like she's so tiny right now, she could probably almost walk under him. Uh, well, you know. either way, they're both Nigerian dwarfs. You see how small she is. And, uh, you know, it would be five months before she kitted, even if she was bred. So I'm basically buying myself some time to heal. Uh, and, and two goats are a lot easier to take care of than uh, 10 goats so that's basically what it boiled down to um, and yeah the uh, the three bucklings I probably could have taken them to the stockyards and gotten a lot more money but it was just going to be a lot more hassle uh, and a lot more work for me to do that and I just didn't want to mess with it I'm so far behind on everything now I just need things to go easy for a while and be the easiest for me so that I can heal and get back on my feet and uh, all the things that I need to do they still have food in there and water wow I'm so used to uh, I've already fed them once today <laughs> so I'm not used to, I'm going to have to wait and readjust the amount of food and water I put out based on two goats. Because, you know, I think it's kind of horrible. My memory sucks so bad. I think that I put out the same amount of food that I would put out for ten goats this morning. <laughs> and there's only the two goats. I'm telling you, it's been crazy. The memory has been horrible. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. I don't want this video to get too long. I'm going to give these goats some time. Um, they're still kind of shook up because they heard. And they don't really, I don't think they understand what's going on. But they're a little jittery yet. So I'm going to give them some time with me. And, uh, 
and let them kind of understand in some way that they're here to stay. Because every time I open this gate, I think they think, oh, we're leaving too. That ain't the case. So uh, let me get off here, spend some time with these goats. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless you. God bless your families. God bless your homesteads.